All right, here we go. Okay, so to make your rose window, you're going to start with a CD. It does not matter what your CD looks like. It doesn't matter what's on the back. It does not even matter if there's scratches on the CD because you're going to cover most of this up. So what you're going to want to do on a piece of newsprint is trace it in pencil and cut it out. And when you cut it out, make sure you cut it out pretty accurately. And I'm not doing that right now, but I will here. Because you really want to make sure that the circle is a circle because you're going to fold this over and over and over. And if you don't fold it well, your end design isn't going to look very good. So cut it out pretty closely to your line. You're going to then fold it once. Okay. And again. And then one more time so that you have this little pie piece. Then you're going to open it up. And on one of the pie pieces, you're going to draw a design. And your design really can be anything you want. And I know it's hard to see the pie pieces on the screen, but there you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually darken the lines here so you can see one of the pie pieces. And you might want to darken the lines anyways because... Those could be part of your final design. Let's try, let's try this. Does that help? Does the light help? There we go. That's better. Okay. So now I'm going to just start with a really simple design. I'm going to draw like a little teardrop. And I'm going to put a zigzag line. That's cool. And I'm going to put a circle. And maybe another teardrop. And let's just do like a curved line. Now, you don't want to go too crazy with this because you have to transfer this design to each pie piece. Can you see it? Okay, there's the design. Now, I did it in pencil, and I put down a lot of graphite on the paper. And that's really important because the next step is to take this pie piece, fold it over to the pie piece right next door, take the back of my scissors... And I'm going to get this graphite to transfer. So the back of the scissors, the handles on the scissors, if you rub it hard enough, it'll start to transfer the design. Okay, the graphite transfers. Now, can, is that completely as clear as this side? No. No. So now what I have to do is go back with my pencil, and I have to darken all of this really dark again. And I'm not going to do the whole thing here. But I darken everything again, and then what do you think I do with these two? I fold it in half, and I can use the back of the scissors, apply a lot of pressure, and then I'm going to have half of the CD done. Darken that half of the CD, fold it in half this way, and then you can transfer the whole thing using your scissors. If you use a uh, mechanical pencil, the graphite in those is not as soft as in a regular number two pencil. You want a regular two pencil. Okay, don't use a mechanical pencil. If you only have a mechanical pencil with you, there are some drying pencils on the back supply table. Now, this next step, let's pretend my design is all the way around. You're then going to tape it to the CD. I'm going to do that quick. And you're going to want a sharpie, a black sharpie, and there should be some on the supply cart. There should be some brand new ones on the supply cart. The next step is going to require you to take the design from the CD and bleed it through the paper onto the CD. So with the sharpie, and your design has to be all the way around in pencil. I didn't do all of that because it takes a little while. I'm going to just go over this really slowly using a lot of ink from the Sharpie. Waste of ink. I just heard somebody say that. Um, you're right. It, it sucks up a lot of ink. But how else would we transfer this design onto plastic? The CD has a plastic coating. So we can't use graphite pa paper. That won't work. We could scratch the design through the paper and then scratch the CD which I can show you tomorrow if it really becomes a problem. But let's go back to this. So I, you can see I darkened some of it. Can you see it's starting to come through just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. It's not going to be super clear, but it'll start to come through. And then what you can do is take your Sharpie and retrace that. 
okay? It is slow. This is a slow process. But these look very, very cool when you're done. But you have to remember, you've got to stay nice and accurate because this, when you're totally done, the design should look like it radiates from the center and comes out. If each pie piece gets off a little bit, it loses that balance and it looks very sloppy. So make sure you slow down and take your time. Taylor, question. Uh, last quarter, hold on, let me stop.